not that I was in the bathroom, I was just using the, no, that's not right here. <laughs> Once, twice, 28 times a lady. Lionel Richie is one of the most iconic and successful music artists out there, so it shouldn't come as a shock that he's afforded himself a luxury mansion with 28 rooms to call home. Located in Beverly Hills and backing onto the Bel Air Country Club, Lionel purchased the home in 1999 for $6 million, but these days, it's worth nearly double that. The singer spent years working on the custom home alongside an architect and designers, and the theme of his estate is based upon his travel around the world. Today we'll check out his impressive Beverly Hills abode. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lionel Richie is a singer, songwriter, musician and TV personality who rose to prominence during the 1970s recording with the funk band The Commodores. However, his solo career made him one of the most successful ballad artists of the 80s. Over the course of his career, Lionel has sold over a hundred million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling artists, also winning plenty of awards, including a few Grammys along the way. Currently, he's also a judge alongside Luke Bryan and Katy Perry on the series American Idol since 2018. Considering all of Lionel's success, he's amassed himself an estimated net worth of $200 million, a lot of which he poured into his dream home where he's been living since the 90s. In fact, Lionel spent years working on his Beverly Hills mansion alongside architect Robert Attree and two famed designers just in order to make the home perfect. Just wait until you see all the amazing details in the 28 rooms. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're checking out the Beverly Hills estate that singer and songwriter Lionel Richie calls home. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Lionel currently lives in Beverly Hills, California in a luxe area backing onto the Bel Air Country Club and it's nice and close to his American Idol gig as it's minutes from LA. Architectural Digest explored the singer's home a while back and learned that his mansion boasts a whopping 28 rooms spanning 17,000 square feet inside. He purchased the home in 1999 for exactly $6 million according to records, but these days the custom pad is worth about $11.4 million. His mansion has historical meaning and it was built in 1929 by architects Harry Corner and William J. Gage. Unique vibe of the home was the thing that attracted Lionel in the first place. It's a house you don't find anywhere, much less 10 minutes from the center of Beverly Hills, he shared. Everybody looked at it and had the same response. Beautiful, but we don't want to do the work. And in fact, I was reluctant. However, he went through with it and completely customized the estate to make it his own. Lionel also said that he felt the same way about his house as he does about his music, that you have to take chances which is exactly what he did. Located on a hill overlooking the country club, Lionel was in for a challenge when he purchased the mansion, which hadn't been updated for nearly a decade. The Italian Renaissance Revival home was going to take some work, but he and his then wife Diane figured they would just invest a couple million dollars into freshening the abode up. Three and a half years later, it was still a work in progress. The back of Lionel's home boasts a handful of limestone terraces, a swimming pool, and a stone pool house. Already looking at the grounds, we can see that his estate is detailed and stunning. Not to mention there are cypress and magnolia trees throughout the property. When Lionel and his ex first acquired the home, they uncovered the bones of the structure as well as the gorgeous wood floors that were buried under white carpets and features like the entryways limestone walls hidden under varnish. Lionel explained, a house is like a human being. There's something wonderful about an 80 year old with wisdom, but what did it look like when it was 19? What was the inspiration when the house was first built. That white stone was the house's youth. Lionel's mansion is a vibe of travel and wanderlust throughout. This is what the entertainer said he wanted to showcase at his abode, and considering he spent so much time touring and on the road, his estate is where he can apply all that he's seen in other countries. Aside from the late architect Robert Attree, Lionel also had the help of interior designers Peter Schifondo 
and J. Jonathan Joseph to bring his dreams to life. The exterior hue of the mansion was based on a cardinal's house Lionel saw on a hilltop in Lake Como, while the high gloss Venetian plaster on the walls of the living room, well, that was inspired by his visit to Poland's presidential palace. Elsewhere in this spacious and regal living room, there was an 18th century embroidered wall hanging, which serves as a backdrop to a custom piano. In fact, everything in this room is simply elegant, and there are silk upholstered furnishings as well. Throughout the mansion, there are soaring ceilings, dramatic staircases, and of course, sweeping views. Richie's manner could be anywhere in the world, but this is exactly how he wanted it to feel. He said, I call the rooms in my house destinations. If I want to be in a suite in Paris, I go upstairs to the bedroom and close the door. Italy, I want walk outside to the stone path bordering the property and look back to see the cardinal's house. With my career, I have to get on a plane every other week. So when people ask, where do you go for vacation? I say, I go home. I guess if Lionel still feels that way, then his house would have served him well throughout last year's pandemic. Other sprawling places in Lionel's palace include a fancy dining room, which boasts the original carved wood and plaster ceilings. Here, there are also 18th century mahogany chairs, a walnut table, African sculptures for decoration, and a limestone mantle. His main living room had molded and painted plaster ceilings, huge picture windows all over, and a ton of gold in the color scheme. There is also a fireplace flanked by 17th century Italian columns. Another beautiful room was Lionel's library. This space had oak bookshelves and a seating area with a velvet sofa and Italian chairs, while the singer also chose this room to display his many awards, including five Grammys, 16 American Music Awards, and even an Oscar. Moving to the master suite, Lionel has a designer Renaissance style bed to match much of the rest of the home, as well as another fireplace and seating area and a windowed nook which overlooks the rose garden outside. The ensuite bath was actually designed by Richie's former wife Diane and designer Karen Carcello. The spacious bathroom is more like the size of a living room and offers oak flooring, original molding, and a limestone fireplace. Not to mention, even the tub is fitted fancy with a mahogany finished case. Other peaceful spaces in his mansion include the sunroom where Lionel keeps his piano that he still plays and is the same one he used to compose many of his hits with the Commodores, and the rose garden on the south side of the property. Lionel loves his garden and says it's important to the entire theme of the home. I see a home as the total piece of property. There must be a garden and a view of it, Richie says. In fact, Lionel uses his zen garden as a place to reflect. He often goes there to take in the peaceful surroundings early in the mornings or late at night to unwind. Of course, also in his backyard, there are plenty of terraces for entertaining or dining al fresco and an impressive swimming pool and spa to complete the property. During the 2018 season of American Idol, fellow judges Katy Perry and Luke Bryan went over to have dinner at Lionel's abode and they said they'd never seen anything quite like his mansion. Luke explained, Every ceiling in his house is different. Lionel, the bathrooms have different ceilings. It's amazing. It's like a museum. We also know that aside from his longtime home in Beverly Hills, Lionel always had a soft spot for the UK. In fact, we've seen one of his former homes in London because X Factor contestants were actually staying there some years ago around 2013, renting it out. The stunning 5 million pound mansion was located just outside of London and Lionel formerly lived here at one time. The classic style abode also came with luxe features like a large swimming pool. Now we've taken a look at the impressive home of Lionel Richie located in Beverly Hills and where he's lived since the 90s. After seeing his custom estate, what was your favorite room or feature in the Home. I know it's hard to choose, but I would have to say either the master suite or the swimming pool because the backyards at mansions like his are always impressive. Before I wrap up this video, I'm going to shout out some of your comments from previous ones. This one is from our Scarlett Johansson house tour. Mr. Americana said, Thank you so much, Kara, for doing a house tour on Scarlett Johansson. My pleasure because I love her too, as well as her taste in houses. And this next comment is from the recent Ace Family house tour we did. Cheryl Poole wrote, The house is too large and it doesn't seem like a family home. It takes a lot of money to keep up a $10 million home. Yeah, after reading a lot of the comments in that video, I totally agree that their house is way too big and over the top for a family of five. It seems half empty and cold. Not into it. Keep the comments coming because I love hearing what you guys have to say about these celebrity houses and be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Lionel's mansion as well. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye!